Hi, welcome back to Little Techie. Today, I'll, I'll be explaining Windows Evolution. So I made two drawings while I was learning about Windows to explain Windows Evolution. So I'm just putting it in PowerPoint, okay? Okay, so the first one we have here is MS-DOS. It was made in 1981. MS-DOS ran um, DOS programming language. Um, so MS-DOS stands for Microsoft Disk Operating System. So the next one is Windows 1. It was the second one to have um, a graphical interface, but in the Windows family, it was the first one. So, um, Windows 1 um, had basic utilities like um, the MS-DOS executive and um, paint and um, control panel, but they're not much like the control panel we have today. Um, they're way different. Next is Windows 3.1. It's the first one to have um, a desktop, but no taskbar. Um, it had like it, it renamed. I think it renamed the MS DOS executive to um, file manager. Next one is Windows 95. It was the first one to have a taskbar. Also had um, a start menu, like a flow out menu, um, a start menu. So um, it also had an internet, an internet connection, but it was way different back then, the internet. Next was Windows 98, which was made in 1998. Windows 98 um, ha had an NT kernel, and um, it's much similar to Windows 95, but it had an NT kernel. Windows, I don't, Windows 95 must have also had an NT kernel. Next is Windows Me. Windows Me didn't stay around for long um, because it was very slow. Okay, so the, you see Microsoft Neptune and Windows 2000. We'll be skipping those. Next is Windows XP. It had more like a three-dimensional interface. Um, a lot of people liked XP. So, um, yeah, so a lot of people used XP. So next, um, next was Windows Vista. Um, Windows Vista had it was such an improvement in um user interface, but um, it's real thing like the real computer. It like it crashed a lot of times. There are a lot of um BSODs. Um, yeah. So um, I think Microsoft focused too much on the graphics. Um, graphics is not that much important. Next is Windows 7. It's similar to Windows Vista, but um, it still has the games like Minesweeper. It also had the Media Center, and it never, almost never crashed. Almost never crashed. So um, next was Windows 8, which was made in 2012 for the Windows key. The win um, when you had to use, already had to use something like Stardust Back or Classic Shell. Um, so, uh... Yeah, Windows 8 also um was had a tablet more like a tablet user interface um it had tablets I think um right now I'm going to talk about Windows 10 1909 update though um I don't know what version is it it's I think it's the version where like it had that weather um the what the feeds it had the feeds on the taskbar. So yeah, that, that that version of Windows 10 um so Windows 10 um actually came with a new browser called Microsoft Edge. Um it's more Chromium based today. Um before it was its own thing. So next So uh yeah, so Windows NT was a kernel like for Windows 95 and 8. Um, next was uh, Windows Server 2003. It was more Windows 95 user interface than an XP interface. Windows Server 2003 is the exact same thing as Windows Server 2003. There's a bit improvements and it was the second release of it. Next was Windows Server 2008. 
it was also um a uh windows um 95 themed but it also had an arrow theme and it also had um it had a bit of arrow theme it also had the taskbar size of windows 7 windows 2008 r2 um the server i'm running right now the first edition i installed on it was windows server 2008 um so yeah um, next uh is windows server 2008 r2 yeah just the same thing but our second release um Next is Windows Server 2012. That's the second version I had on the computer. Windows Server 2012 um, is my most favorite Windows Server edition. So um, Windows Server 2012 actually had like, it was just the exact same UI as Windows 7 but flat. Next was um, Windows Server 2012 War 2. Again, the same thing as Windows Server 2012, just a little bit of improvements and the second release. Next one is Windows Server 2016. Um, this is the server edition of Windows 10. So um, this is uh, this is the this uh, on VMware. Um, this was the first OS I would install on there. Next, I think that came was Windows 7. I installed on VMware. So next is Windows Server 2019. That's the server edition I'm running right now on my server. It's still BIOS basic input output system. So yeah, Windows Server 2019 was the same thing as Windows Server 2016. But if I escape here, you can see that if you go to Windows Server 2016, the task view kind of looks different. Um, it looks something like Windows 10 um 17 Windows 10 1709. Um, yes. Yeah, so um. This, yeah, the task view looks different in Windows Server 2000. And let's check the start menu. Um. Yeah, so that was um all that was all of the Windows versions, the Windows evolution, and I'll see you next time. Bye.